Much like Armoury's oceans, Armoury's land is teeming with life. Or rather, the land on the star-facing side is, the, the land on the other side of the planet is cold and, and dark and, and barren. Okay, um, much like Armoury's oceans, Almeray's land on the light side of the planet is teeming with life. While we are aware that there's probably quite a few species on this planet, uh, maybe as many as 30, our researchers are basically just random people we kidnapped and forced to work in a makeshift space program. So we don't really know for sure, and uh, as such we're just going to take a look at uh, significantly fewer than 30 species today, and uh, if you want more then uh, too bad. Unlike Earth, Almeray's terrain is dominated by thick layers of dark, multicoloured moss as opposed to grass. Flat plains of damp moss stretch for miles and miles, and this moss is by far the most numerous and diverse of all plant species on Alma. Common towards the sun-facing side of the planet, this large circular plant rises above the moss layer and spreads its large leaf to catch as much sunlight as it can. Other plants, like this black leaf plant, grow above the moss layer and spread their leaf branches in numerous directions to catch as much sunlight as possible. As the sun gets more and more angled in the sky, plants have made many adaptions to ensure all this sunlight is captured. Small plants like this grow upwards, then droop their leaves to match the angle of the sun. A similar species to these are these larger tree-like plants which can angle themselves whichever way is needed, their thick bark offering support and strength against gravity and the wind. Closer to the terminator line, these large tree-like plants feature a large fan-shaped leaf designed to catch as much of the low angle sunlight as possible. This tree grows a thick cotton-like coat to protect it from the high levels of solar radiation emitted from the sun. Just like the oceans, the land is home to a load of weird creatures that you uh, probably wouldn't want to be near in real life. Uh, luckily, none of us will have to. Uh, we already sent one guy to catalogue these things. His name is, or, or was, Jeff. And now, uh, now Jeff is dead. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't live with what he had seen. But, but anyway, uh, let's have a look at what's here, shall we? Many creatures live on the moss flats of this planet, uh, exploiting the copious amounts of vegetation and small bugs that live within it. Uh, approximately 15 centimeters long, weevil-like creatures like this roam the land, eating smaller bugs from the moss. Apparently, they're quite tasty. The bugs and the weevil creatures, I mean. Uh, not that I've ever eaten any. Giant snail creatures the size of cars like these also dwell on the moss flats, eating whatever it is that they slide over. Uh, where there is no moss, such as in some deserts, uh, multi legged bug things like this roam the land. It's, it's, really just, it's really just a centipede, let's be real. Along the shore, we see different creatures to those that live on the mud flats, such as these crustacean esque creatures that uh, prowl the rocky shores. Sort of similar to those are these things, which are very similar to the bug in air quotes creatures that live in the sea, just bigger and well um, on land. In the mud, these slimy shelled creatures hide in wait to attack unsuspecting prey, while other shelled creatures live in similar conditions presumably trying to avoid being eaten by the ambush creature. This boy has a thick black shell which absorbs a lot of heat, uh, which is good for something, I guess. Since there are a lot of creatures with shells, or shell-like things, large horned creatures like this rear up and slam their horns down on their prey to crack their shells and eat the tasty goo inside. And yeah, that's about it for the armor system. Sorry about the wait for this episode. I. Uh, I have no excuse for why this episode took so long, I just didn't feel like making it. So yeah, I got a few other ideas brewing that will probably never see the light of day. So as always this video could easily be the last one I post for the next, I don't know, millennia. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you all enjoyed, etc. See ya.